Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, iterative statements in shell scripting. So in this iterative statements in shell scripting, there are mainly two things. So one is a for loop and another one is a while loop. So let us see the syntax in this session and I will show you the practical that means implementation in the Ubuntu terminal. So coming to this for loop, so use the keyword for the variable, for the loop variable in, I give the numbers, space separated numbers. So value 1, so a value 1, space, value 2, space, value 3 and so on. Right, and after that, just use the keyword do and write down the statements here. And after completion of the statements, done so that the variable will be holding the value one in the first iteration and it will be holding the value two in the second iteration and it will hold the value three in the third iteration, and so on. Right, so and this can also be done in another syntax. So, for the same uh, variable in give the sequence here so dollar use the sequence keyword start value start value interval and the stop value stop value so do write down the instructions or statements done so here you need to use the sequence and here the start value and it will start with that particular value and this is an interval between one element with another element right so let us let us see uh, give you an example if it is a sequence of 1 1 10 right so it will start from 1 and the next iteration that means in the next iteration it will move on with the next value so that interval is 1 so the next value is 2, next value is 3, next value is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And if it is 2, so it should start with 1, it should stop at 10 with a time difference. That means with the, with the difference value is 2. That means it will start with 1, next 3, next 5, next 7 and finally 9. So the second parameter in the sequence is a difference, difference between one value with another value. And the first one is a start value and the next one is the last value, stop value. So this is one more way we can execute the for loop. And also there is a one more way similar to our C language. You can use a for loop for use a double parenthesis, the initialization, the variable initialization semicolon condition semicolon updation updation so write down the statements here do and finally done so this is one more way to execute the for loop but this will be executed i mean this, this depends upon the shell you are using so in some shells this this, this syntax will not be worked so i will execute the things in the terminal and I will show you regarding this for loop and then coming to the while loop so while loop is also similar to this for loop and which we have learned in the previous languages C or C++ so while followed by the condition you need to write the condition so that can be either simple condition or the compound condition so do following the statements and done so here also the updation should be done here the updation should be done and initialization should be done initialization right so whatever the iterative statements we are using the three things should be done one is a loop variable loop variable initialization the second one is condition 
so we have to write this condition because up, uh, after uh, some finite number of steps the loop should be terminated otherwise it will move on with the infinite loop so to in order to terminate the loop we are supposed to write this condition and the name next updation so for every iteration the loop variable should be updated so that it should reflect on the condition so after finite number of steps the condition should be false and then the terminal will be i mean the loop will be terminated so here initialization should be done and inside the while we have to write the condition so this is also called as a entry controlled entry controlled so because entry control because in the entry itself we are checking the condition and if the checking if the condition is true then only the control will enter into the loop right so these are the instructions we need to write and these instructions will be keep on executing until the condition becomes false and here we will write the updation for every iteration the updation will be done and that will reflect on this condition so every iteration we need to check the condition when if the condition is true then only the control will enter into the block so this is the syntax for while loop and previously we have seen the syntax for for loop now i will show you the execution part of this while and for loop in the terminal so we'll take a small example and let me demonstrate that uh, in the terminal so let's move on to the ubuntu terminal hello friends so just now we have seen the syntax for uh, while loop and for loop in shell script now we'll execute a program so for First of all, let us uh, open the Ubuntu. So let us open the file. So vi editor while loop. So the file name is while loop. So go with the insert mode. Now you can write here. So first, let us read the value of n. So enter value for n and read n so that we need to write the iterations. So while dollar n greater than zero so it should execute all the instructions until the n value is greater than zero so do the syntax while do echo print n value and update the n value so n is equal to so dollar expression dollar n minus one and after completion done so execute this one so sh while loop so it will prompt for n value i'll give some five press enter so you'll get the values from five four three two one so un until the value of n becomes greater than zero it will keep on in executing the same set of instructions it's a small uh, uh, modification we can do that means uh, we can Print the values from one onwards. So read n and here go with the insert mode. Let us take i is equal to one. So where i value is less than a dollar n. So un until i becomes value n, you need to print i value. So update the i value. Uh, increment i value for each and every iteration and uh, execute the statements so sh while loop so it will prompt for n i will give you 10 so you'll get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 because we have given till less than n so if you go with the less than or equal to n if you go with the less than or equal to n then we'll get till 10 see so sh while loop execute so 10 so you'll get till 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so this is about a while loop and now we'll go with the for loop so we'll create one more file for for loop vi for underscore loop so here change the mode to insert mode so for i in i is nothing but a variable loop variable in write down the space separated values so i will give 1 2 3 4 5 and do print the i value dollar i so for every iteration i will be changing towards the one and the next iteration it will move to the two in the next iteration at three next iteration four next iteration five so echo done so you need not update automatically the i value will be updated towards on the 
right hand side value so in the first iteration i i points towards the one second iteration i points towards two three four and five so save this one and execute by using the sh sh for loop so automatically we'll get a one two three four and five and also we can use the sequence function so you see uh, for loop so we have seen the syntax just now move to the insert mode so for i in instead of giving the values here we can also give the sequence for the sequence use the syntax dollar suq give the starting value and give the interval and give the ending value so this implies the i value holds from 1 with a difference to less than 10 so first in the first iteration i will be pointing towards a 1 in the second iteration i will be pointing towards a 3 in the third iteration i will be pointing towards a 5 7 and 9 right so the three parameters of a sequence are first starting index next one is the interval difference between one uh, iteration to another iteration the value of i and the next one is a stopping so i'm printing i value see sorry so I'm printing this one. So sh for underscore loop. So you'll get 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So the difference between each and every iteration value is it will be 2 because we have mentioned the same in the program. So for loop, see we have given 1 and 2. 2 is a difference. So if you give 3, then the interval will be different with 3. sh for underscore loop. You can see 1 difference of 3 so 4 7 and 10 so this is how we can execute the for loop right so by using a sequence as well as the space separated values given in the iterative statement right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this while loop or for loop feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you are really understood my session like my session share my session to your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.